Welcome back guys. We've got yet another story from Tails here at the shop with us selling equipment and we're getting ready for the Christmas parade. We got blue collar hooked up to the trailer. We're getting ready to go. But before we do that, we've got this Kubota tractor on the trailer here. L2501 Kubota loader backhoe that we had sold and ended up not being sold anymore. So we're gonna tell you all about it. So anyways, Blake just went to go pick up some plywood for our trailer because we got to put wood in front of these tires for parade rules in case someone was to fall they don't get ran over i think it helps but not really but anyways back to the tractor so i had this guy call me or actually sent us an email wanting to buy this tractor uh, i'm not going to share any of his information or anything like that i just want to share a story for you all and we got a hold of him and he didn't really want to come look at it because he's like three hours away i said well we'll do that but the only way we will deliver a tractor sight unseen is if we collect a thousand dollar non-refundable deposit and I told him, I said, it's not a perfect tractor. It's got a thousand hours on it. It's been used. Uh, we actually took this loader and backhoe off of another tractor that had a bad engine and put it on this tractor. And I told this customer everything front to back about what all we did and didn't do to this machine. Sent him probably every bit of 30 photos of like the worst spots where the loader had been welded on and repaired, all this stuff. So anyhow, he's happy with it. We originally wanted like a certain price and I dropped it down like at least 15% off of my asking price um, and he was happy with it he's like all right here's my deposit bring it on down so I sent my brother Aaron who now has his CDL down to Okeechobee to deliver it three hours guys three and a half three a little right at three and a half hours one way from right here where we're at to deliver this tractor and tell me how everything went down there it wasn't too bad on the way down there. Traffic was, you know, in and out, you know, people going 60 and a 60. It's not too, too bad. Um, but got all the way down there. There's nowhere to turn around. So I just pulled straight in, had to back out, you know, straight line. But glad I learned that in the school, I guess. Well, I mean, <laughs> so how as was far as getting customer, down there, what, what the, the customer, he wasn't too bad, but he was really nitpicky about everything on the tractor. You know, there's like minor little things here and there, just where somebody else had like a bolt added to it in a certain spot. You know, that's something that doesn't affect anything on the tractor, but he just didn't like it. You know, it was just little bitty things. You know, he just couldn't take it. He didn't want it. Basically at the end of the day, we made, we every time we sell a tractor, we make these customers aware that they're getting a tractor with, you know, this one has 12 or 1400 hours on it you should be very aware that when you're buying a machine that isn't brand new or only has a few hundred hours on it, something like this has 1,400 hours on it, that it's not gonna be perfect. And what really rubbed me the wrong way was when he questioned the hours on the tractor and asked if it was stolen or not. And like, he basically insinuated that we were trying to sell him this tractor and brought it to him and sold it for the price sold to him because it was stolen. And it's like, come on. If, if you think we're gonna load a machine up and drive three Aaron, hours, three hours, six hour way, trip to waste our time. We're definitely not screwing down there to try to waste your time at all. And then we're someone to accuse us of trying to sell them a stolen tractor with a not right VIN number because we told him that we took two tractors and made one. He's like, well, how is the, how do I know the hour meter's correct? You know, stuff like that. Guys, we've sold over 150 tractors this year and over 220 since we've been doing it, since I've started this business like a little over a year and a half ago. So we've moved a ton of equipment. We have zero upset customers to the point where this guy that totally didn't want it, I told him that, you know, we would refund him partial his thousand bucks to, you know, cover Aaron's time that I pay him and his fuel to go down there. And he was okay with it. But then the next day, lo and behold, this guy gets a hold of me, sends me a text message at like 1130 at night. He's like, I, I, I feel that I should get my full thousand dollars back. It's like, okay, well, I feel like we should not have our time wasted whenever we send you every picture under the sun of a tractor that has 1,400 hours on it that runs and drives and functions fine. It just has cosmetic issues because it's a 1,400-hour tractor. And it's a used tractor at that. At the end of the day, yeah. If you wanted to buy a tractor like this that's in perfect shape, go out and spend $40,000 at Kubota brand new or, or even more realistically. So at the end of the day, what really rubbed me wrong is where people question our integrity you know, we're not gonna waste our time, send our $100,000 truck and trailer down there and Aaron, you know, with all his training and stuff, to go down and deliver a machine that isn't what we say it is or something we haven't made everybody well aware of what we're selling them. So that really just kind of pissed me off. I don't know about you, but I'm sure you didn't like having to drive. It was a six hour drive to do a whole lot of nothing. I mean, it wasn't great. And you know. don't get me wrong, like this sale not coming through is not gonna hurt us like whatsoever, but it's just, 
It wastes our time, the time and effort. Aaron driving six there hours. There was other tractors I could have delivered. Picked up and delivered, stuff we had to do today. And then on top of that, me sitting and dealing with a customer for an hour, hour and a half on the phone, working all this out, sending photos, and then for them to get down there and just not want to do this. So I think from now on, we're going to set a new policy for future that this $1,000 deposit you give us, if you don't want to come look at the tractor, is 100% non-refundable. And I must send someone some kind of a docu-sign where they sign an understanding is non-refundable so that whenever we drive down there, we're not wasting three or $400 in Aaron's payroll and fuel. fuel. Fuel's $5 a gallon right now, basically, down here. And not to mention wear and tear. What if we would have blew a tire going down there? You know, or literally anything. So it's just, just another thing. You're a small business owner and things you deal with. We had this happen one time last year about a year ago and I ended up giving the guy's money back in but he ended up coming back up here and buying a tractor from us this guy that wanted this one is like well I just don't feel like driving up there to look at the other equipment you have so I guess it is what it is it kind of sucks but it's whatever dang how much was this 20 bucks really don't that seem cheap I said he did have quarters left he ran out this is like five eighths, ain't it? Or half inch? Half inch. And save me some dough. So this plow we're gonna cut, take in there, Lake. Um, just cut it right down the middle. There should be a skill saw somewhere. Cut it right in half this way, and then cut it right in half this way. So give me two two by fours out, two two foot by four foot sections. And then what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna put it right over the trailer here. We're screw it to it keep people from getting hurt screw into the trailer it's the only option so at the end of the day with the whole tractor deal we're gonna move on and get the parade stuff done it's just really rubs me wrong when people bring up my past I don't think this customer intentionally brought up my past with you know the stuff I've been involved in but I this is not how we run the business this is the most straight laced thing I can ever run and produce and make my pops happy and everybody in the community you know we support everything and everybody around here the best we can and for example, we're doing our Christmas parade. We're doing, we just do so much around here that for someone to think that we're selling stolen equipment right here on the side of 301, come on. Like everything has serial numbers on it here. Everything we know right where it came from. We have bill of sales for every single piece of equipment here. I can tell you the background story on every single piece of equipment because we don't buy anything from auctions. I used to about a year ago, but I just ran into all these issues and when we sell used equipment, all of our customers want to know, you know, what was a tractor used for, where it came from. And I can tell you every little thing it was used on or used for because I know where it came from. So, she's not a stolen machine. She's for sale, but not on sale at buytractor.com. So my buddy Donnie got blue collar all shined up the best we could. He cleaned the wheels up a lot, cleaned the frame up. Oh, we need to get some black spray paint and spray it right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just cover it up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we got to run some lights. I've got to go find an adapter. I couldn't find my adapter I was looking for for the plug there. So I think Napa's got something we can try to rig up and make work, I think. Uh, Lake's got the wood. We're all set there. My brother Aaron's got our lights wired up right here and a light bar right there. That's stuff that was in my TRX bumper. Oop. Oh, I was like, what the heck's turning this <laughs> So we can use that stuff for loading up equipment in the future. And uh, we're going to be putting a little LS tractor on here and a Mahindra on here. So we're going to get these things loaded up. We used last year our signs that were on the float our merry christmas sign, not no happy holidays or merry holidays happy christmas we got merry christmas on here wow. so we're self-tappered it right to the trailer <laughs> we only keep trailers for like a year year and a half so, so we, we work the living piss out of them so we've got our blue collar equipment sign on here i'm thinking we're just going to put that like right along here at the back of the trailer what do you think yeah. i mean it's about the only place I can think of. We got two of these, don't we? I only saw this oh, one. Oh, it's because we had Hobby Bros on one side last year. That's why. All right, well, we're going to find a place for it. And uh, we're getting all this stuff rounded up, getting ready for the 
2022 Dade City Christmas Parade. All right, so we've got our signs down here with some wood behind them, so no one's gonna fall. And if people don't stop randomly trying to add me into this FaceTime, I'm gonna hurt somebody. <laughs> but everything is on here. We're gonna drive it down to the parade route area and prepare the rest of it. The rest of it down there because we've got like these tassels and all kinds of other stuff that are gonna be going on here, but it's gonna fly off because we got about two mile drive downtown. So. We got something else that went on. Remember that little Kubota tractor that we were just talking about at the beginning of the video that someone accused of us selling a stolen tractor? Well, customer literally just walked in here, that's his truck, and bought it. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> How about that? So, things are just being turned out to be a good Friday. So we're gonna finish getting this thing all good to go. Hope you get to see you guys at the Dade City Christmas Parade. Make sure y'all smash the like button, drop a comment down below, and stop FaceTime. See you later, peace. <laughs>
Dave City Christmas Parade.